been picked up by a mo microphone. Uh, I was asked to explain to everyone why you don't need to play F chords ever. Uh, the thing about, so an F chord is very difficult to play on the guitar because um, it's a bar chord. You have to bar an entire, you have to bar all six strings with your first finger and then you have to form what would be an E uh, normally on, on, in open. You're now playing that as F. Uh, there is no other really good way to play F on a guitar uh, that doesn't involve a bar chord in some way. And if there is, no one's ever taught it to me. And I've been playing for a long time and I've never seen anyone come up with a different way to do it. Uh, so the reason you don't need to play an F chord e uh, ever is because there's multiple reasons. One, no one's ever written a good song that involves the F chord ever. Um, second, uh, the F chord is uh, strikingly close to a G chord and an E chord. It's only a half step up from E and it's only a full step down from G. So if you want to play an F chord, just play an E chord, which is very easy. Uh, and it's close enough, it's only a semitone down, or play a G chord, which is still pretty easy, and it's a full step up, and I mean, that's, you know, happy, right? Because you've gone even up a little bit. So just, just cut all those Fs out of what you're playing, and then play a G instead. Uh, in all seriousness, get yourself a capo, and just capo up so you can actually transpose everything to get out of F entirely, and just, you can play more open chords that way. You should always, you should learn how to play bar chords. They're, they're primo. You can do all sorts of great stuff but with bar chords. In fact, that's what a lot of like, um, you know how like um, a lot of like uh, grunge bands and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, when grunge, alternative, when all that was going on at the time, a lot of what they were playing were power chords, mm -hmm. okay. which were only, which were pieces of what you would play as a bar chord, but it was only over two or three strings. So mm -hmm. you didn't have to bar the whole thing to play the whole thing. Okay, you just right. had to play those two or three strings to play it. And so power chords were just this like easy way to play uh, moving up and down and just moving from you know uh, moving from position to position without having to bar the entire thing and like really leaning in on that. And it's not to say that those people are like bad guitarists, right. but it was a way that when you were when you're new to that to be able to play that very fast mm -hmm. uh, and also a great way to like. Um, uh, to, I mean, to play those chords faster, even if you are like an accomplished guitarist, being able to play that stuff faster. Um, and I guess it's not cheating, it has a different kind of sound, because you're not playing right. every note, you're just playing just these few strings that you need. So don't right. strain yourself to play every note, just play the ones that you actually need to play. Right, if you've just written enough. like heart-shaped box. Yeah. Right? And you just need to have this kind of like, like low-down feel that just needs to be over like only a few strings. It's like there's no reason to strum the whole thing. Hmm. I mean, there's a lot of chords like the D chord. If you strum a D, if you if you hold D and you strum a D on a guitar that with all six strings, it sounds awful. Right. Because not every string is actually part of that. Right. And I mean, you actually probably need to be a fairly adept musician to take good shortcuts. I saw it. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Ha. Huh. All right. So we marked the driver wants free snacks and coffee. That's been going on. Beach or Matt? Matt, do you want to do this?